The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. The elders of the people, chief priests and scribes, arose and brought Jesus before Pilate. They brought charges against him, saying, We found this man misleading our people. He opposes the payment of taxes to Caesar and maintains that he is the Christ, a king. Are you are the king of the Jews? His. You say so. Pilate then addressed the chief priest and the crowds. I found this man not guilty. But they were adamant and said, He is inciting the people with his teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee where he began even to heal. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean, and upon learning that he was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was in Jerusalem at that time. Herod was very glad to see Jesus. He had been wanting to see him for a long time, for he had heard about him and had been hoping to see him perform some sign. He questioned him at length, but he gave him no answer. The chief priests and scribes, meanwhile, stood by accusing him harshly. Herod and his soldiers treated him contemptuously and mocked him. And after clothing him in resplendent garb, he sent him back to Pilate. Herod and Pilate became friends that very day, even though they had been enemies formerly. Pilate then summoned the chief priest, the rulers, and the people, and said to them, You brought this man to me and accused him of inciting the people to revolt. I have conducted my investigation in your presence and have not found this man guilty of the charges you have brought against him, nor did Herod, for he sent him back to us. So no capital crime has been committed by him. Therefore, I shall have him plugged and then release him. But all together they shouted out, Away with this man, release Barabbas to us. Now Barabbas had been imprisoned for a rebellion that had taken place in the city and for murder. Again, Pilate addressed them, still wishing to release Jesus, but they continued their shouting, Crucify, Crucify him! him! Crucify him! Pilate addressed them a third time. What evil has this man done? I found him guilty of no capital crime. Therefore, I shall have him flogged and then release him. With loud shouts, however, they persisted in calling for his crucifixion, and their voices prevailed. The verdict of Pilate was their demand should be granted. So he released the man who had been in prison for rebellion and murder, for whom they asked and he handed Jesus over to them to deal with as they wished. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, and after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them, and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed, the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Now two others, both criminals, were led away with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They, they know do not, not know what, what they, they do. do. They divided his garments by casting lots. 
The people stood by and watched the rulers. Meanwhile, sneered at him and said, He saved others, let him save himself if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear in God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land, until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Please kneel. Please stand. The centurion who witnessed what had happened glorified God and said, This man was innocent beyond doubt. When all the people who had gathered for this spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home beating their breast. But all his acquaintances stood at a distance, including the women who had followed him from Galilee and saw these events. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Alas tres ng madaling araw na magsidatingan ang iba sa inyo. Daladala ang palaspas. Las cuatro, lagpas na doon sa kabilang daan ang pila. Noong isang araw, meron nang nagpapables ng palaspas. At nung sinabi ko na kuya, sa linggo pa po yan, kaya nga tinawag na linggo ng palaspas. Ngumiti lang siya at ang sabi sa akin, pasensya na po, excited lang. Dangan kasi dalawang taon. Dalawang taon na wala tayong gaanong nakita na palaspas. Kaya nga naman, nung nagkaroon ng pagkakataon, gabi pa lang, ating gabi, madaling araw, takbo sa simbahan. And I'm very sure, ganito rin ang senaryo sa talos lahat ng simbahan katoliko dito sa ating bansa at sa buong mundo. Today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we again gathered together in churches to commemorate the great love of God for all of us. At napaka-meaningful itong Simana Santang ito sa ating lahat na dumaan sa roller coaster ng buhay nitong nakaraang dalawang taon. Meaningful sapagkat muling na ipagpatuloy ang buhay. Meaningful sapagkat kahit na ang ilan sa atin ay hindi nakayanan yung pagsubok, 
na igupo ng pandemya. Narito tayo ngayon, inaalala sila, ipinagpapatuloy ang buhay. Iyon ang magandang balita. At sa umagang ito, hayaan niyo po, niyo po akong invite kayo sa pagninilay-nilay sa tatlong punto ng napakagandang mga pagbasa natin sa araw ng linggo ng Palaspas. Una, kailangan nating maikonekta ang ating pagdiriwang sa linggong ito, ang linggo ng pagkabuhay, ang Semana Santa na mag, mag, uh, magtatapos sa linggo ng pagkabuhay, doon sa araw ng pagsilang sa Pasko ng pagsilang ng Panginoon. Sa Pasko ng pagsilang, God became one with us. Remember? Emmanuel. At sa Pasko ng pagkabuhay, etong triduum na ito sa Simana Santa, ipinakita sa atin na yung buhay na yon ay hindi lang puro pangako. Na yung buhay na yon ay hindi buhay na kaiba sa atin. Kundi yung buhay ng ating Panginoon ay ang buhay ng bawat isa sa atin, maliban sa kasalanan. Kaya nga, today as we begin Holy Week, the good news is that we have a God that we can relate to going through suffering, going, going through pain, going through betrayal, going through Uh, persecution and that is what we are that is what we have gone through kaya nakaka-relate tayo sa kanya at nakaka-relate siya sa atin we have a God who is relatable and just like him when people are not expecting him and doubting if he's going to continue and to fulfill his mission of going up to Jerusalem to fulfill what he promised to the Father and to all of us that he will save us kahit na ano man ang pagdaanan niya it's also the challenge to all of us to soldier on to continue living to continue standing every time that we fall down and to continue hoping even if it is something that is very difficult to hope on. We have a God who can relate to what each of us are going through right now. And we have a God who loves us so much that He continued to fulfill His mission on earth. Yun ang una. Pangalawa, sa linggong ito, magiging napaka-prominente. Prominente naman talaga, pero mas lalong magiging prominente ang krus sa ating mga pagdiriwang. Pero kapag katitingnan mo ang krus na yan, hindi yan krus na walang Kristo. Sa buhay natin mga Krisyano, napakahalaga ng krus. Pero para sa atin, hindi lang natin tinitingnan ng krus. Hindi lang natin pinupunasan ng krus. Anong ginagawa dapat sa krus? Pinapasan. Sapagat ang krus ay hindi dekorasyon. Ang krus ay pinapasan bilang pag ng ating pakikiisa sa sakripisyo ng ating Panginoon. At hindi lang yun. Madalas sa buhay natin, hindi lang yung krus natin yung pinapasan. Di ba? Ano pang mga ibang krus na pasan-pasan nyo? Tingin kayo sa kaliwa. Andiyan asawa nyo, krus ba yan? Kailan mo pa yung pinapasan? Hmm. Ay, naaalala nyo. Namin nating pinapasan. Kasi bilang krisyano, hindi lamang yung krus natin yung inaasahan na pasanin natin. Kundi pasanin din natin yung krus ng ating kapwa. Hindi ba po pwedeng hindi, Father? Hindi. 
Kasi kung hindi ganoon ang equation ng pagpasa ng krus, bakit naman papasanin ng Panginoon yung krus na yun? Hindi naman yung krus ni krus yun nating lahat ng kanyang kapwa. And in the same manner, we are being invited, no, not just invited, but challenged that if we are going to go through life in this together as a Christian community, we do not only need to pasanin yung ating mga sariling cross. We need to look at the crosses of its other. Sakit sa kalingkingan, damdam ng buong katawan. Ang sambayan ng Pilipino ay hindi magtatagumpay kapag kanya-kanyang krus lang ang papasanin natin. Dumadating tayo sa pagkakataon na ang hinihiling sa atin ay pasanin din yung krus na mga taong halos malubok na nang dahil sa bigat ng kanilang pinagdadaanan. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng kapwa. Kapwa tao. At kung anuman pinagdadaanan ng kapwa ko na yan, hindi po pwedeng magbulag-bulagan ako. Ang ganun na nangyari sa Panginoon. Kahit na mahirap, tuloy pa rin. We continue. Kaya nga, anong oras kayo mali sa, buha, sa bahay ninyo? Alas tres, alas kwatro, ating gabi, madaling araw, just to be here. Just to be here. To be with one another. Pangalawa yun. Pangatlo, it's a paradox that when a leader enters his community, when he ascends to Jerusalem, pagka leader, usually sa magagarang sasakyan, sa grand, grand ang entrance. In our Lord, the irony is that ang sinakyan niya ay yung donkey. A humble animal which tells us that Jesus' leadership is about humility. That Jesus' leadership is about serving the least and the last and the lost. Mga kapatid, nasa krus na naman tayo na ating buhay hindi lang bilang Kristiyano kundi bilang mga Pilipino. Marami tayong mga kailangang pagnilayan at sana itong linggong ito ang maging lente ng pagtanaw natin sa mga bagay-bagay sa ating pamilya, sa ating buhay, sa ating sarili, sa ating lipunan ay walang iba kundi ang pamantayan ng krus ang pamantayan ng ating Panginoon. Hopeful, we begin the celebration of Holy Week with hope. But this is not a hope that is for the faint-hearted. It is a hope na daladala ng sambayanan who has been in darkness for a long time. This is a hope that we cannot give up This is a hope that in the end, we will all rise again with Christ in His resurrection. Kapwa-tao, kapwa-Kristyano, kapwa-kapatid kay Kristo. Sa linggo ng Palaspas, magsisimula tayo ng maraming maraming pagninilay. Maraming po pwedeng tingnan. Pero ang panyaya ng simbahan ay tingnan ang mga bagay-bagay, ang mga pinagdaraanan, ang mga pinapasan, ang mga sakripisyo, pati na ang inyong mga saya at tuwa sa buhay mula sa lente at pananaw ng krus. Tanggalin mo ang Kristo sa krus, kahoy lang yan. Tanggalin mo ang Kristo sa krus, bigat lang yan. Tanggalin mo ang Kristo sa krus, walang kahulugan yan. In despair, in hopelessness. 
iligay mo yung Kristo sa krus, nagkakaroon ng ibang kahulugan. Bakit? May kapwa tao ka na nakabayubay sa krus. May kapwa ka na nakakaintindi sa iyo. May kapwa ka na nagsasabi sa iyo, you go on because nauna na ako sa pagdaan sa mga pagsubok sa buhay. Dear friends, Holy Week might be somber, might be silent, might be muted, but don't mistake it for lack of hopeless, for lack of hope. Rather, ito ang pinakamagandang pag-asa na ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Hold on, we're going to go through suffering, pain, and even death. But in the Lord, we don't end with Good Friday, no matter how good it is. We always long and hope for something more. And what is that? Pagkabuhay. So we all would like to see each other sa linggo ng pagkabuhay.